A robust succession planning process provides a roadmap for success, ensuring the necessary structure to support effective, efficient, and consistent communication and implementation throughout all levels of the organization. Uh, in this video, we'll provide a high-level overview of our succession process and what's required at each stage of that process. So let's start with identifying critical roles. There's typically no shortage of leadership roles uh, that would benefit from succession planning. However, it's critical to take a measured approach when introducing succession planning into an organization for the first time. Uh, with this in mind, the first step is to identify those roles in your organization that you should target based on urgency and how critical to, they are to the business. So next, we build success profiles. Now that you've narrowed down the need to your most critical positions, we can now focus on understanding the requirements of each role. At this stage, we define the talent composition required for success by incorporating present and future needs. This step will provide the requisite KSAs to consider when selecting and developing your future leaders. In nominating successors, uh, the success profile in the previous step is, is the lens we'll use when selecting candidates for succession. The nomination stage adds much needed credibility and transparency to combat those perceptions of favoritism and that tap on the shoulder uh, that's typically used for promotion. Uh, results from the nomination survey are used to populate a draft succession bench that groups successors based on their readiness and it essentially provides an eye test measure of bench strength for the incumbent's role. A well-maintained succession bench is also a fantastic way to measure the success of your succession plan. So once we've identified those successors, uh, next we go to the nomination survey and it's only the first step in evaluating your bench strength. This is an incredible opportunity to add objectivity through scientifically validated leadership assessments. The assessments do not take the place of a candidate's history and experience, but add a unique perspective and an incredible level of depth. Uh, any succession process should incorporate an objective assessment to measure the talent profile of each succession candidate and identify gaps to target through development. To make your succession process truly thrive and truly effective, you now need to leverage those assessment results uh, in coaching to create a development plan that will help potential successors identify and close skill and experience gaps uh, and progress to the readiness to fill those future roles. This is really where the work comes in uh, as we manage development plans for each candidate, track recommended and completed development activities. We recommend creating a development plan for, at a minimum, all your high potential succession candidates uh, certainly in a perfect world, you would have a development plan in place for your entire succession bench. So the final piece of the puzzle is measuring progress. Uh, tracking measurable progress indicators and regularly communicating those results with key stakeholders demonstrates the value of your succession plan and really keeps the importance top of, top of mind. Uh, during the initial stages of implementation, if you set and communicate reasonable expectations from the beginning, you'll be able to show year-over-year -year progress. Uh, get started today by looking at what you can easily measure now and gathering those numbers. Uh, set a calendar reminder to review, compare, and communicate progress at least every six months. Uh, even if you only track one metric, get in the habit of recording it, attaching a dollar value if possible, and conveying that to your stakeholders. So hopefully this video provided a quick overview of the steps required to deliver a succession plan. I recommend to, for you to take advantage of the many great resources we have on this page and throughout our site to, to uh, essentially dive even deeper into succession. Uh, but better yet, check out our succession planning launch series. We're just through two half day sessions. Uh, we deliver a custom succession plan for each member of your leadership team in essentially only four to six weeks. Uh, the launch series finally helps you get succession done.